impeach Trump, Ohio Republican judge. We can't let him get away with the dozens of dazzlingly illegal things Trump has already done. As Charles P. Pierce said in Esquire last week, I swear it's like we elected the Clampets if the Clampets were grifters. A president of the United States on the official Apotis Twitter feed assails a department store for dropping his daughter's merchandise. On the same day, the Pentagon is looking to rent space in the Trump Tower. Trump's son travels to Uganda to make a Trump business deal. And of course, foreign diplomats will stay at the Trump Hotel. The cash comes marching in. The phony legalisms Trump has said he used to separate himself from his businesses, though he still owns them and his sons are running there, will be cited to make this all acceptable. Horse feathers. No ethical expert could say with a straight face that this is not a classic conflict of interest. In any time except our post-factual era, no office holder, much less the president, could get away with any one of the dozens of dazzlingly illegal things Trump has already done. They would forfeit office immediately. The leader of the band of Mad Hatters occupying the White House has already insulted allied world leaders, issued illegal and badly written orders, impugned a so-called judge appointed by his own party, and appointed the least qualified cabinet ever. The first Secretary of State was Thomas Jefferson. Trump appointed a big oil executive with close ties to Russia. The first Treasury Secretary was Alexander Hamilton. Trump appointed a former Goldman Sachs exec who got rich for closing on homeowners. The National Security Advisor lasted 24 days. And all that's just at the time I write this. Who knows what happens next? Each new day is a new nightmare. We are still trying to digest one breathtaking assault on America when another is signed, issued, or tweeted. All this amid constant lies. Constant. Lies. Trump delivers the death blow to ethics. Ross K. Baker. Democrats have a viable path forward. Guy Cecil. I am a lifelong Republican. I voted for every Republican presidential candidate from 1968 to 2004. But I have watched what once was a sane center-right party go off the rails, first to the extreme right, then to wherever Trump is, which is in another universe. It's tough, but we must end this dangerous presidency. Trump must be impeached and removed with all haste. But only Congress can initiate the process. Our congressman, Steve Sherbo, has been busy defending Trump from the media, which is simply reporting Trump's machinations. It's time for him to man up and start drafting the articles of impeachment. As I remember, he did it for Clinton for far less than Trump has already done. After the election, many hoped that Trump would grow up into the job that he couldn't possibly be as bad as them thought. Well, it's gone the other way. The bully has become a more entitled bully. Anyone disagreeing is attacked. Policy is announced in illiterate tweets. Basic American values, free speech, the rule of law, separation of powers, even common decency, are unknown in this White House. We now have a president who has no concept of separation of powers, or why we have three branches of government. If he knew anything about the Constitution, he would know the framers envisioned just the situation we have now, a would-be dictator. They provided checks and balances, such as an independent judiciary to protect us from presidential tyranny. Enabling a bully is always a mistake. As soon as the tweet on Nordstrom's came out, I said that the Republicans would defend the indefensible, and the talking point would be a father supporting his daughter. It wasn't an hour later that Rep. Jason Chaffetz, our Utah, told CNN it didn't bother him. But even Chaffetz had to choke when Kellyanne Conway urged people to buy Ivanka Trump's shoes. All the above bothers me and should appall all Americans. We must admit we have elected a president who has immediately proved himself to be a grift, a pathological liar, a mean-spirited bully and dangerous to American values. This not ready for primetime show is too dangerous to continue. America is at stake. If you need help drafting those articles of impeachment, Steve, I am available. Mark P. 
painter, a lifelong Cincinnatian, served as a judge for 30 years. This piece was first published in the Cincinnati Enquirer.